there is no wind noise in this helmet there is such a tight fit around my neck that it uh, it's the sound quality is excellent in this ranked one or two at exchange depending on who is doing the rating marauders welcome back to the channel I wanted to share with you the helmet I bought purchased for riding motorcycle on the street which is something I haven't done in man over 35 years I haven't done it so this is the helmet this is the helmet that I've been showing up to test drive motorcycles with my camera you can see the setup for my camera I have a GoPro mount on the side and then this linkage I ordered off of Amazon I think it's reasonable like $11 for this and I really like the way it situates the camera uh, for off-road um, for off-road and street riding but you can imagine what people thought when I showed up to test drive a street bike and I'm in a fly racing off-road helmet uh, Jen and it is DOT rated wow let's look at the ratings it's got on it I think it has a in fact I know it does it has a European rating on it also this is the the European I believe FM VSS I believe certified I believe that's a European rating um, this is a carbon fiber helmet it's very light it's great for riding off the trail. I have some thicker cheek pads in it, but I, I can't stand it for street riding. And it's no wonder they let me ride, <laughs> the demo ride their motorcycles wearing an off-road dirt helmet. Um, so this is a helmet on my off-road videos. This is what I'm wearing most of the time. Great helmet for off-road. This is my HGC helmet, modular helmet that I purchased, my God, it might be 15 years ago. It was actually purchased for snowmobiling. This has a DOT rating on it. Won't get into the ratings. And this helmet is, doesn't fit me well at all. I One of my early purchases, it might have been over 15 years ago I bought it. Um, would have never picked this color again. And look at it, it is set up for some type of Bluetooth device on the side of it. Uh, I keep saying, uh, I, I can't stand this helmet. There is so much noise, wind noise, coming through this helmet that it's just horrible to ride on the street. Uh, I've taken it on one or two rides with my brother. I'm my brother's Harley Davidson, his Street Glide Ultra. And I just, I wore it once on one ride at night. I couldn't stand it. The visor is heated and it's nothing wrong with HJC. It's just that this is an old helmet, old technology. So when I was searching for a helmet, the number one priority, of course, safety. But I wanted something that was extremely well made and that was very good with sound. And the two top-rated helmets, and I called Revzilla, and watch other videos on YouTube, the two top-rated helmets for quietness in a modular helmet were the Shoe Birth C5 and the Shoei Neotech 2. Those were the two top-rated helmets, modular helmets. Forget about sound. They're the two top-rated modular helmets by Revzilla, at least when I called them several times, also from independent tests um, that I've watched on YouTube where people review helmets, which is very helpful in this motorcycle journey I'm on. I really wanted the showy helmet. It was easier to take apart. It was, again, top-rated helmet, about the same cost. It didn't fit me right. A large would just fit me pretty snug, except it pinched my forehead. And no doubt in my mind that if I had that helmet, after I wore it for about 10 minutes, five minutes, it actually was painful, not the right helmet. The shoe birth helmet 
was the right helmet around my forehead and the back of my skull, but it was loose on the cheeks. So I had no choice if I wanted a top rated helmet for sound, and I mean wind noise coming through the helmet, I had to go with the shoe berth and I ordered larger cheek pads for the helmet. They still haven't come in. And, and by the way, shout out to the people at Cycle Gear on Walden Avenue in Cheektowaga in Buffalo, New, in Cheektowaga, New York, near Buffalo, New York. Uh, Revzilla revert, referred me to Cycle Gear, a, our motorcycle shop, shop, large motorcycle shop. They are uh, a sister company of Revzilla. And I, and I try to buy from local stores. Um, my my off-road store doesn't carry helmets like this, or I would have bought it from them. So I cycled gear, big shout out to them. I was in there a couple times. The last time they were very patient. They ordered this helmet for me. My brother recommended white, a white helmet, because it's cooler in the summer, and also that it, it's the visibility is uh, good. I was going to buy a silver helmet that matched my, uh, I think it's, I always confuse it, my rocket. I think it's Johnny Rocket uh, riding jacket, but the color was just off and it looked bad. And I said, you know what? White is good for the summer. It's very visible and it's neutral. It goes with black, red, any color white goes with it. And I went with it. And I really like the way it looks. You can see my GoPro setup. I have the GoPro mod, camera mod on it, which is separate from the camera. And I plug in the back my Purple Panda microphone. This is the adapter. And I plug it into the GoPro mod. And then my microphone is mounted on the inside. And we'll see, I did some video uh, I'll play the video later and I'll play it next in the vid in this video to show you how it works on the street. Again, great operation of the of the visor. That's a modular helmet in case some of you don't know. Works very well. I don't know if I can show you how the mic is on the inside. There's a mic for the, I also, they installed it and I watched them take apart the helmet. I had Cycle Gear install a Sena 50 a Bluetooth and mesh unit. Now this helmet, I could have put on shoe bursts, uh, Bluetooth and mesh unit. It would have been very flush with the helmet and the battery would have gone in the back in this location. I didn't want to do it. I thought, you know what? This is hardened carton. Uh, speakers on the inside and this is tuned by Harden Carden for music and I said I want the best music um, I want the best music the sound while I ride and I went with the um, Cena 50 and I wanted the hard because I wanted Harden Harman Carden uh, sound system I wanted the better speakers and sound system in the helmet so far it's been very good I haven't tried calling um, making telephone calls from the helmet while I'm riding, but I have to do that in the near future. Not sure what else to show you on the helmet. It does have ventilation. I don't know how well you can see it. It does have a visor ventilation lip here. It also has a chin vent here that is really blocked by my camera when it's on. That's a good look at the helmet. I'm really happy with it. I cannot, this seal I think, got sawdust down for my workbench. This seal I think is really what cuts down on the sound from the helmet. And again, you know I'm not an expert. I can't take this, hel this helmet off without lifting this up, without opening the modular, the, the chin guard portion of the helmet. I cannot take it off unless I do that. I'll show you what the helmet looks like on. Again, this is in the modular format. I 
like this knife to take it on and off. I have to tighten that up a little bit. So it's on. That's it. I really like it. It has a tinted shield. Which is, man, I wish I had bought this. That's really good. I can't wait till I get the cheek pads. I think it's going to be perfect. Just a little loose on the crown of my head, ever so slightly. I don't know if you can hear me. Comes on and off very easy. I got to get a new off road helmet. I love the on and off. It also has a passive vent in the back to let air out and also a vent on top. So, obviously this helmet's going to be retired. The HJC I'm going to leave down here on the shelf with the I'm going to leave the HJC down here on the shelf with the other helmets. I'll take this helmet upstairs for off-road. I'm going to upgrade my off-road helmet. I'm going to helmet kick. I want an adventure helmet with a shield that's that can I can wear a full shield and then remove it if I want to wear goggles. The only problem I'm finding is they're not as light. This is a racing helmet. It, it is super light, this carbon fiber helmet. This helmet is much heavier. I want to say this is over four pounds. I bet you this is about three pounds. It's definitely a light helmet. My little microphone, purple panda microphone's flopping around. But this has served me very well. No complaints about this helmet. Okay, let's do a test on uh, the Harley Davidson Streak Light Ultra. We'll see how the helmet performs on its first ride, and you'll watch it. Hope you enjoy the video, Marauders. Hope you consider liking and subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with a friend. Okay, let's get on the bike, see how it performs. Wow, my favorite channel's on. Okay, here we go. The HJC helmet leaked so much air that it was actually cooler to ride with. The wind noise in this Schubert helmet is outstanding. There's almost, my biggest fear was wind noise. There is no wind noise in this helmet. There is such a tight fit around my neck that it, uh, it's, the sound quality is excellent. In this ranked one or two at exchange, depending on who was doing the rating, with uh, Shoei's um, Neotech helmet. They were very close. Very close, the two helmets. And I think it's, I think it's excellent as far as sound rating goes on the helmet. I think it's very good. this person go oh good takeoff beat okay been a while since I've been on the old girl so I will say the helmet is excellent um, I'm getting used to the Senna unit I'm not used to having music in my helmet I hope it's something that I'm going to enjoy um, especially answering the phone it is having a little problems communicating with Siri. I think Siri is still trying to pick me up on my car phone and not on the Senna unit as far as voice commands. But as far as this helmet goes, it is excellent. The airflow in it is great. I can feel it, uh, not only on the top of my head, but a little going around my cheeks. And this, this, actually this, this motorcycle probably has the perfect fairing. Uh, it's it's my eyes are probably three four inches above it, which is probably I hear you guys comment that that's what it should be. 
So as far as this helmet goes, I think it's, man, I am really happy. If anything, it's a little too warm. Now when it gets too warm, oh, that's nice. When it gets too warm, I just crack that a little bit and uh, it, it lets in enough cool air. So I have riding pants, I have steel toe boots on. I, I think I might take out my uh, old motocross boots. Uh, I'll tell you, Marauders, viewers, it feels great to be back on this bike. I haven't ridden it for two weeks and I'm, I'm gonna miss this thing. I really am gonna miss it. It was a nice bike to train on. By the way, my brother says I can take it anytime I want with any of his motorcycles, which is generous. And uh, it uh, really has been a great machine to learn on. I'm, I'm very fortunate to have had it to learn on. I'm getting used to getting used to braking give her the beans just an all-around nice bike I'm getting used to braking with two fingers uh, I never seem to do that and uh, basically I'm out tonight to try out the helmet and try out this camera setup that I'm using seems to be good seems to be recording and uh, how do you like this jacket? I got uh, I got a great deal on this jacket, and if anything, it's too warm. It is it is uh, ventilated actually the whole length of the arms, and I took the lining out of it thanks to Jen. Uh, but it uh, the jacket's nice. It's got padding in it, and I like the protection that it gives you. And man, I need, just like riding off-road, did I need a ride. Man, I needed a ride. And I waited all day for the wind to calm down. It's been very windy, and I wanted, I wanted to have a nice leisurely ride. I'm headed out to Akron, New York. I went out to try to get out here once, but I turned around by the rain, put some fuel on the bike, and I'm just going to take a leisurely ride. Maybe I'll catch up to you a little later, guys. I need to ride more. Oh, nice takeoff, Peter. My navigation is confused tonight. So I'm out for this was a Sunday evening ride. It's about quarter after seven. One thing I forgot to show you is this has a nice This has a nice drop down sunglass or solar shade on it. <laughs> I don't know what it was. A tinted visor. It has a nice tinted visor that drops down really easily, kind of. Well, it does it better than that. Getting used to the helmet. So the helmet's very good. I'm using, learning how to use it. I uh, wish it had more ventilation but I'm cracking the visor a little bit here and there to get ventilation off of it. And I've been practicing. Now guys, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I am not an expert, you know that. I'm learning 
how to ride on the street again. But I'm practicing my turns using the trail method and I'm just having feathering the front brake a little bit through the turn. I'm trying to look through the turn and uh, it seems to be working pretty well. I'm also taking the outer the outer line of the turn on the outside curve of the turn when I'm making it and I'm holding the throttle I'm getting used to two hands on the brake two fingers on the brake I should say and uh, that's all good that's all good looking through the turn just something a little I'm trying to learn something I, I watch videos I also now this is a bad angle this guy can't see me saw me when I hit a horn there was a big sign and I'm not taking a chance <laughs> maybe I should not ride a motorcycle maybe I should walk I'm on a road that I've never been on before in my life and um, it's a nice road there's a ton of stores on it it's out in a, it's out in a little it's east of me west east of me yeah and I, I like this little road. It's a nice road. So, the helmet. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with it. As you know, these aren't inexpensive. Shout out to Cycle Gear. Uh, actually, Revzilla. Talking to them about the helmets and sizing. They recommended that I try going out to Cycle Gear. We actually have one that just opened six months in our area by the Galleria Mall on Walden Avenue. I'd highly recommend it. They were awesome. They got me the right helmet. They were very patient. I was in there twice and then they had to special order this helmet and I'm uh, very pleased with their service and we're lucky to have the store in our town. Please give it business and I will give Revzilla business. Uh, pre I try to use local vendors as much as possible but they just don't have the local vendors just don't have my size so so often I have to go to um, a store and order trying to be very regimented on the turns so that's it the helmet is a plus the Senna 50 is an awesome unit I'm getting used to that too it's probably gonna take me a lot of time to get used to it but uh, I have time and it was nice to get out on the on the Street Glide Ultra. Beautiful bike. Thank you my brother lets me use it. Hope you're enjoying the motorcycle videos and uh, we'll see how when I edit it how this camera mount works on my helmet. And so far it seems very good. And that's it Marauders. Hope to see you on the trail.